motherfuckers. And today we're getting into week six, I think we were on. Yeah, week six of college football. Might be week seven. I don't know. The week has been off. The weeks are off, I think. I don't know. Uh, I was hyped for this week. Uh, actually, no, let me let me tell the full story. I was down on this week. I was like, there's no really good matchups outside of Georgia and Alabama. And I've looked at, I looked at a couple of the games. I'm like, man, I'm really excited about some of these games. Three of the games I was most excited about were postponed this week. I was excited about the Oklahoma State-Baylor game. That was postponed. I was, I, I was really hyped about that one. I was thinking that it might be Oklahoma State's first loss of the season. Baylor's a very good football team. Uh, I was disappointed when that game was postponed. And then I was like, Florida, LSU, that could be a good game. I, at least I was thinking Florida could get back on track. That game's not happening this week. And then Cincinnati, Tulsa's not happening this week. And that was a game I was probably going to go upset of the week with because Cincinnati was highly favored against a really good Tulsa team that beat UCF this year. But uh, it took me a little bit, but I've scrapped together, obviously, the three great games, the fourth upset of the week, and a fifth. Uh, lock of the week. I understand. LSU is absolute garbage. Thank you, LSU, for nothing. Thank you for absolutely freaking nothing. That was unhelpful. <sighs> Not... Ah! God damn it. I had such a good streak going, too. But on the bright side, thanks to Kansas State, I'm on a two-game winning streak with my upsets of the week. Three weeks... If you could, if you include my uh, NFL predictions last week, but let's get into it this week. So this is the reason why I'm recording this early, and it's got to be up by Friday. So I'm, I'm gonna have to work really hard and get this up in time. But it, this is the game BYU Houston, and this is a great game actually. It, it's again, it's my fourth favorite game. Actually, it's up there. I think it's my third favorite game to watch this weekend. Uh, it's just because of Georgia, Alabama, and then there's a really good American matchup I really want to see. But if you're not really into this group of five conference, this is the second. Well, I guess it's it's still a group of five. But BYU Houston is going to be such a good game. Let me explain you why. BYU's been fantastic this year, but they did show a weakness against UTSA last week. UTSA came very close to beating them last week, and UTSA is not known for being great. Uh, if Houston, Houston's very well coached team. It's a very good team. And it's a team that is pretty good in the American Conference. If Houston can locate the weakness of BYU, they're in serious trouble in this matchup. Because BYU, very good football team, and I really love their quarterback. But they're in trouble if Houston can figure it out. That's why this makes for the great upset of the week, in my opinion. BYU is favored by five. And again, I know, just favored by five. But trust me, not a lot of great games out there. So therefore, not a lot of great chances for upsets. Uh, this is favored by five. This is the best I could do for getting together and upset. I love Houston here. Give me Houston to win this game. Now, getting into Saturday. And this is, uh, there's only going to be three good games on Saturday, in my opinion. One of them is at 11 o'clock. Let's go over that one first. South Carolina and Auburn. Now, Auburn's favored by three and a half points, but let's let's look at Auburn so far. They've, they've gotten crushed by Georgia, okay? Uh, Arkansas should have beaten them if it wasn't for a horrible officiating call. Arkansas should have beat Auburn. Now let's look at South Carolina. Sure, they started out 0-2. But let's look at those games, shall we? Tennessee played a very close, good game with Tennessee. And then, next week, the next week they played a very good game against Georgia, Florida. Both those teams are very good football teams. Both those teams, in my opinion are better than Auburn. I think uh, South Carolina is going to go in there, get the upset against number, what is it, 16 Auburn in the sucky Eastern Conference. Okay, 2.30, this is my other game that I really like. I, I like this matchup. And uh, call me a group of five fan, but uh, there's not a lot of great games to watch this week, so this is a really interesting one, and if I, I'd be interesting to watch it. Neither of these teams are ranked, okay? So... That doesn't seem like it'd be a great matchup, but you have UCF and Memphis, okay? Memphis has one loss so far, far this year to SMU, and SMU's looking like a fantastic football team. It was a very close game. Memphis should have won that game if they didn't fumble the game away. UCF, uh, they blew it against Tulsa. I really thought they were a playoff candidate, but 
the crazy way this year is working out, who knows? If they win out, they might just still be in the playoff conversation, but they desperately need this win. Memphis also needs the win if they want to stay in the uh, the American picture. I think, I don't know if, I think Memphis might be a little bit too far up just because of the natural prominence UCF always had. Uh, I think UCF is a better team in this matchup, but Brady White's such a good quarterback, and this is going to be a fun game to watch. Dylan Gabriel versus Brady White. Both those team players are possible NFL quarterbacks. They're very good players. This is going to be a fun game to watch. Plus, UCF's defense has not been known for being great the past couple of weeks. Anyways, I'm hyped for this matchup, but give me UCF. I really like UCF as a football team. I think they're one of the best. Uh, moving on to my lock of the week. And I understand it went garbage last week. LSU's a garbage football team, and they should never, ever, ever, ever play another game. Ah! Absolute freaking garbage. That's what LSU is. Just... Just just write them off completely. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's what happened. They lost to freaking Missouri, okay? <laughs> and, yeah, sure. Everyone's like, yeah, let's see what happens when Miles Brennan... Miles Brennan has played fantastic instead of Joe Burrow, okay? That's not... his. He's not the reason that they are losing. Although, he probably should have punched it in from the one-yard line. But, uh, their defense is absolute and utter garbage. It looks like they're jogging everywhere on the field instead of actually running to the ball. Absolute and utter garbage. But let's get me to a week six. UAB is going to win. Damn it. <laughs> See, the problem with the locks is I'm, I pick a team like, yeah, they're going to blow it out. But then I'm like, forget what the team they're going to blow out is. And I know I can't have my notes this week because I didn't have time to get notes. And let me just let me just scroll down here real quick. Real quick. Real quick. I'll find it. Don't worry. Oh, Western Kentucky. And Western Kentucky's been god-awful to start out the season. And U UAB's favored by 13.5 points, which is why I mean, it's a good team to take for my lock of the week. Give me UAB. It's a much better football team. Only has one loss, and that's to a very good Miami team. Let's get that straight. Anyways, last game, and everyone knows this game's happening. Alabama-Georgia, probably the only very, very playoff picture and noteworthy game of this entire weekend, which is just filled with absolute garbage games. Every team that's considered a playoff prospect isn't playing. Oklahoma State's not playing. I guess technically Clemson's playing, but they're playing Georgia Tech, so no, right? Uh, UNC, who, UNC plays Florida State this weekend, which, oh, wait, no, UNC, yeah, right? Yeah, UNC plays Florida State, someone plays Louisville, Notre Dame plays Louisville, so I guess if you want to watch some ACC games, those are all the playoff teams that you have to look at. It, they're not great games, as you can see what I'm saying, but... I really love this Alabama-Georgia matchup, and here's why I explain this. I don't know if Alabama's offense is good or Ole Miss defense is extremely awful garbage. They're, they're a flaming pile of garbage. I'm leaning towards they're a flaming pile of garbage, but you, Alabama's offense can still be good. I don't, but let's be honest here. Lane, Lane Kiffin's great. I love Lane Kiffin. I think he's going to take all. He's going to get Ole Miss to national prominence soon, and old, Lane Kiffin's an absolute legend when it comes to offense uh he's very good offensive mind but let's be honest Ole Miss should not have given Alabama that much fight if this was a Nick Saban defense it, it wouldn't even have been close but this is not the Nick Saban defense we've all come to know I wouldn't say love because not, I don't know a single person who loves Alabama's defense or even likes Alabama but uh we all know Nick Saban's a great defensive coach I think this entire season's blown everything off, but let's be honest. Georgia's defense looked like the real deal against Tennessee. Now the offense very ha so that's definitely going to be the it's going to be if you if you remember if you're an NFL fan you can go back to the Jaguars Patriots AFC Championship. There was like Patriots offense versus the Jags defense. Those were the strength part of both teams. So I think the fun part of this game is going to be watching Alabama offense versus Georgia defense. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. But then there's the weak side of both teams, which is like Blake Bortles against the Patriots defense. It was fun to watch, but it was fun to watch because they're both bad. Uh, 
it's going to be fun to watch the Georgia offense and Stetson try to go up against this Alabama defense, which is absolute and utter garbage. Uh, I'm, I really like Georgia here. The defense is going to pull it out. Georgia's the only team in the SEC playing defense right now. Give me Georgia to win. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is GGB and Colas Pucker saying, Adios, amigos.